when you look at who's uh, out there, who's covering all of the issues that are important to the country as a whole, uh, it tends to be very, very uh, exclusive. And as the uh, that uh, article mentioned, uh, tends to be very white, tends to be very male. And what we end up with then is you have journalists of color, you have women journalists who get uh, segregated uh, into covering issues uh, that only relate to these particular kinds of identities. So it's important not just because of these communities need to be covered, but these perspectives need to be there on all of the issues that are being covered in the media. Uh, one of the things that struck me about the uh, survey was that, in fact, it was done at all. One of the problems we find is that uh, Black people and, and other uh, minority communities are not included in the surveys that really kind of determine a lot of how we understand what's going on in the country, uh, as well as what becomes important issues to cover. And so that individual is absolutely right that there are stereotypes uh, that prevail because in part we do not cover uh, consistently these communities so that you have a broad view of the range of life that exists uh, in the Black community and Latino communities uh, and elsewhere. So you end up with stereotypes. All Black young people are seen as threatening. Uh, black women are seen as angry. Uh, black scholars simply don't exist. Uh, if you look at who's brought in to be experts, not just on issues related to uh, these communities, but on broader issues, whether it's foreign policy, whether it's on environment, uh, whether it's on education, uh, Black scholars uh, in these areas simply are not part of uh, those discussions. So there's a wide range of uh, options that simply have been ignored by uh, much of the, the uh, mass media.